David Hathaway started to work in Eastern Europe and Russia in 1961, when he was just 29. He led the first modern overland group expedition to Jerusalem, travelling by road behind the Communist Iron Curtain and through hostile Middle Eastern countries. The group set off to attend a World Pentecostal Conference in Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost, but everyone from motoring organisations to take the British Foreign Office said they were mad. They were not allowed to take women on the trip due to the perceived dangers. In addition to the hazards of crossing Iron Curtain countries on unknown roads without suitable hotels, they were told that in Turkey they would be killed by bandits and in Syria shot as spies. What was the point of going all that way to Jerusalem? Why go to all that trouble and cause so many people such trouble? Are you mad? <laughs> Well, uh, some people might uh, try to suggest I was mad, but there was a reason for it. You see, I'd heard that there was to be a conference in Jerusalem of all Pentecostal people from all over the world, and it was to be held on the day of Pentecost. Now, I believe from Bible prophecy that in these last days before the return of Christ, the Bible says that there is going to be another outpouring greater than on the day of Pentecost. And I believe that if I would go to Jerusalem, it would happen. Now, I didn't have the money. I was a young evangelist in England. I was married with two young children. I didn't have the money to go the way the others went and pay for an airfare. And the only way I could see that I could do it, literally, was to set up an expedition to take a group in a minibus, and of course because I was organizing it, the others would pay and I would go for free. That's what happened. But the tragedy is that I got there, and when I got there, the conference was such that, that I did not receive what I was expecting to receive, and so really I was very disappointed over this because I didn't get what I was expecting to get. But now when I look back, I realize that what happened changed my whole life. This was the beginning of the change that was to turn me from being just a British evangelist to becoming what I am now, which is a, an evangelist, particularly in Russia and the communist countries. Because going there, firstly, I had to travel behind the Iron Curtain in those days, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, and then of course in the other countries like Syria and Jordan. But it opened my eyes to the conditions. This was, remember, this was 1961, when the Cold War was at its height. And that touched my heart and opened my eyes to what was going on. And it was the beginning of the change in my life.